So the big question is, is this the only black superbird in the world? This is a true superbird. We do have the build sheet. Uh, backstory on the car, we don't really know where it came from. In 1983, it was abandoned on the streets of Los Angeles, Cerritos, California to be exact. It had Texas license plates on it. That doesn't necessarily mean that it came from Texas. Again, we don't know any of the backstory. Texas Bureau of Motor Vehicles doesn't make that information available anymore. I don't really have a way to figure out what it has. I have been able to trace it to every owner since. I try to call everybody that owned these cars, but I'll go ahead and answer your original question. This car was originally a yellow car, all right? There were no black superbirds made. It was bought at a police impound auction for about 300 bucks by a lady named Kim Collard in 1983. And then the car went through several hands and it ends up in the hands of a guy named Tom Ferry, who I've talked to. Tom Ferry is in a heavy metal band and he was out of Ketchikan, Alaska. The name of the band was Black Ice. Tom also was a body man and Tom originally painted this, this absolutely stunning black color that you see. At the same time, Tom did something extraordinarily unusual, and that is he built by hand a fresh air hood. No superbirds were made with a fresh air hood, but this one has a fresh air hood, as you can see with the little air grabber, okay? So Tom handmade the hood off of a regular superbird hood, and he cut the end off of another hood, put it on there. Tom painted it black, and he owned it up there in Ketchikan, Alaska for many years. I've got a number of pictures on that. Tom ended up selling it to a friend of mine named Larry Roper. It needed repainting. Larry also owns a body and restoration shop, and he put the coat of, of black that's on here now uh, many, many, many years ago. Well, Larry had the car up for sale, and I bought the car. The car is originally a uh, Sunfire Yellow 440, four-barrel, four-speed car. It's now a black on black on black, triple deep black paint job with a 446 barrel, still has a four speed, bucket seats, uh, mileage on the car, 81,760 miles when I bought it. So it's got about 80,000 miles. Uh, they haven't been the friendliest miles. People like getting on it in this car. The six barrel didn't hurt at all. The car does have a Dana rear end with a 354 gear. Uh, pretty powerful rear end. The four speeds pretty much had those um, when these Superbirds came out. And this has, uh, the, it's called the Track Pack Axle Package, which on this one included the Dana rear end. And it did have the chrome exhaust tips. I did put all new exhaust on it. Interesting thing, when we put it in, we broke one of the exhaust manifolds. You realize how hard that is to do? Well, these exhaust manifolds, they get brittle over the years. And literally, as I tightened the last bolt, it cracked in half. Now, uh, as wild as that sounds, to show you how valuable it is to keep these old parts, I had another one in their parts room there behind me. We have tried, as we've restored things, we have tried to put it back as we could. A friend of my son's, he owns a business that focuses on high-end cars and getting the paint to shine. He spent a week going through the old paint, buffing, sanding, bringing it up to the way it looks today. After a week, we addressed the mechanical issues. The car really ran poorly. Uh, it had been, you know, it hadn't been treated real well and in many years, not driven a lot, just enough to have fun. First thing we did is a complete tune-up, changing fluids, belts, hoses. I rebuilt the carburetors. Uh, we rebuilt the distributor. And then we started addressing the dozens of electrical issues that accumulate on these cars over the years. The electrical issues including completely redoing all the gauges back to original, installing the actual fresh hair hood uh, under dash toggle switch, you'll see, we'll show you a picture of the dash, installing uh, the red re or the orange reverse light and under the dash we've got uh, road lamps just like a 70 CUDA and we got the road lamp switch there today. The car originally did not come with a TikTok tack. It had a tack in it, it was non-functional. Being an old Chrysler mechanic, I started tracing, thought, wait a minute, this car didn't have a tack. 
So I have a um, actual uh, Tic Tac Talk wiring harness. We drilled the hole in the appropriate spot in the firewall. You would know it if I hadn't told you. Ran the wiring harness, put in the Tic Tac Tac so that it's got a functional now Tic Tac Tac. I also have double set of fans. These cars run real hot. Being black, it's gonna run even hotter, so toggle switch on that for when we're sitting in traffic. So how's the car do today? I took it on a 90 mile road trip. Uh, I do like opening it up. I'll go through all four gears and pop all six barrels. Runs great. I love driving it. I'm gonna drive it everywhere. We take it to a lot of shows. If it's within 150 miles of Louisville, Kentucky, we'll take it there. The uh, entire collection of eight cars will be at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, that's called McCacken, on November 19th and 20th at the Rosemont in Chicago. We'll have all eight of our wing cars there, including the Black Eye Superbird. True Superbird, yes. True Black, yes. But originally a Black Superbird, no. We don't ever want to mislead anybody. Well, for now, that'll take care of the Black Eye Superbird. I want to thank you guys for watching and, and commenting on our videos. We read your comments. And for all of us here at Jennings Wing Cars, particularly Jason Fruits, our video producer, myself, Bob Jennings, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.